everyone, it's Donna Gray here, your Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. Sorry I didn't pop on yesterday, I know I'm always live on Tuesdays, but I was waiting for some of, sorry I'm going to get that up a bit, some of my new products to turn up and yes, I've been waiting for the new trimmer and I've been waiting for um, the new everything is, uh, sorry, everything is rosy. The new Christmas time is here sweet. So um, please, when you get the notification that I've gone live, please jump on, say hello, let me know where you're watching from. I'll just get my computer going over here. So if I can't for some reason see, hey Pam, hey Karen, hey Doreen, how are you going? So it looks like I'm actually seeing um, the... It looks like I'm seeing the comments there, so that's great. So, as I said, when you jump on, say hello, let me know where you're watching from, and um, we will have a good time. Better mute that. We will have a good time looking at these new products. So I will make something with the new products today, um, and but I want to go through the paper trimmer. I want to go through what's actually in the products, um, in the suite, so... Um, Anyway, I'm going to pop it down because I know that you're all champing at the bit to actually see all of these beautiful products. Okay, so let's go to here. Okay, so you can see the gorgeous designer series paper behind me here, which is absolutely stunning. And I've done a couple of, hey Sue, how are you going? Hey Sandy from Canada, thanks for watching. Hey Sonia. Um, so I've actually got a couple of colors of cardstock out and I haven't even had a play with this stamp set yet. So what you're seeing is the very first time I opened my box yesterday afternoon and I've had no time to do anything with it whatsoever. So um, we're going to go through what's in the product suite for a start. So we have these two gorgeous stamp sets. So you get a double stamp set. So it's called the Christmas Rose. So you've got stamp set one, stamp set two. This one here is awesome for coloring. This one here, you can use um, these stamps for actually coloring in this image. So there's lots of things. I've actually already seen some people playing around with this and um, they've stamped in Memento and um, used our blends to color. They've embossed and used water coloring. They've stamped and use these stamps to actually colour in, um, to, to, to colour it. So there's been lots of things already that I've seen with this. Now, this is a, a suite that is available to us as demonstrators right now. And it's av available to customers on the 1st of November. So if you simply can't wait, you can pop any of these items in your starter kit right now. So if you absolutely love this and you can't wait until November... You could purchase the starter kit, which you get to choose $235 worth of product for $169. Now, this whole suite comes to $195.50, I think it is. I'm not quite sure whether that's exactly right. So you could get this whole suite plus something else and um, pop it in your starter kit. So um, I've already had a few inquiries this month already, which we're only like a week into this month, which um, I'm super, super excited because these products are absolutely gorgeous. So um, if you fall in love with this suite today and you simply have to have it, then um, the way you can get it right now is to purchase in your starter kit. So we've got the gorgeous rose um, stamp set, the double stamp set. It has these beautiful framelits that go with it. Now this large framelit will cut out that gorgeous rose. Um, it's got some beautiful sentiment labels, so they can be used other than using it with this um, bundle. Um, Matthew lives at Corindy Beach. <laughs> Pam, Corindy Beach in New South Wales. Near Coffs, or I'll say it's near Coffs, Grafton Coffs around that area. <laughs> um, hey Cheryl from Kansas, thank you for joining. Hey Susan, how are you going? Are you going for a job interview, Matthew? That's exciting. I hope it all works out for you. That will be wonderful. Um, so as you can see, beautiful framelits. It's got this gorgeous trellis framelit here, beautiful little edging. 
these scrolls, I've actually seen somebody do a, a beautiful gift tag that they've cut out this shape here and then put these gorgeous scrolls on both ends. It was simply stunning, absolutely beautiful. So, um, uh, Woolworths in Coffs Harbour. Yes, I knew, I thought you were close to Coffs. Okay, so, and who doesn't love a little bit of bling? Can you see this? This is gold glitter epoxy shapes. Absolutely, what are they called? Gl gold glimmer enamel dots. Absolutely lovely. And to complement those gold dots, we have this gorgeous ribbon. I wonder, can I get that open? Let me see. They always make these childproof, I must admit. Actually, more than childproof. I don't know what it is, but trying to get into them is a nightmare. Once you get into them, it's great to be able to use it. Oh, I thought I did it. Yeah, I did do it. See, what did I say? Childproof. Look at this ribbon. Is that not stunning ribbon? Um... You can't believe you caught me live, Marcy. Hey, how you going? Hey, Josie. Yes, I'm normally on a, a lot later, but we've actually just gone into daylight savings time. So this is actually 20 past one, my time, which normally it would be 20 past 12. Um, <laughs> Karen's reminding Matthew, remember to get there 20 minutes early, Matthew. Matthew, don't miss that um, interview. So gorgeous gold ribbon. And this designer series paper, which... I got it out yesterday. It's beautiful. I had one of my team members here yesterday when my box arrived. So gold, beautiful gold accents. So you get four sheets of each of these. So we've got four sheets of that one and it's double sided. So you've got this gorgeous, beautiful um, print on the back. This is to die for. Look at that gorgeous gold. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, so we've got four sheets of that, and that has, this is the opposite side. So um, you can use them for lots and lots of different, um, and this one here, which you can see the gold accents on that. Now I just want to show you with the framelit, because everyone's going to ask this question, and it has been worked out. I think it's this one. Is it this one? There you go. Look at that. It cuts out that rose. Um, so the one single rose that's in it, it will cut that out. So yes, you can cut it out of your designer series paper. So if you want a quick, easy card, you can whip out your, your framelit, cut out that, pop it up, put some gorgeous coloured um, designer series paper behind and bingo, you're done. So um, that's the designer series paper. And there's one more thing with this suite, which this is super, super cute. Now, we actually got one of these bracelets um, on our incentive trip to Greece. So they've actually done this gorgeous bracelet. bracelet. This would be so super cute. Look at this gorgeous bracelet. So super cute for a present for somebody. So every... Um, Yes, there's 12 sheets in there. Four, four threes are 12. Yes, Pam, 12 sheets in the designer series paper. So um, that is the whole entire suite. So that whole entire suite, everything that I've just showed you then is $195 and I think it's 50 cents. Um, and as I said, you can pop it in your starter kit right now. Okay, so you may see my old trimmer here. And yes, I know we have been weighted with um, baited breath. I have something in the box here, which is the new paper trimmer. Okay, so there we have, um, there we have the new paper trimmer. So I'm going to pop them side by side. Maybe I need to see if I can zoom out a little bit. You're going to see more of my mess though if I do that. Um, it's not going to help you see very much at all, but. Side by side, they're very similar. The only difference is this one's a little bit more curved than this one. This one's a lot flatter than this one, so it's about half an inch, um, about sort of half an inch lower. Um, sits flat on the, the, 
the table, but it has little stoppers, little rubber stoppers to actually stop it from um, wobbling around. Now that's the way I would use it. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the old trimmer and pop this one here. So it's got a removable arm here that comes out. You just pull it out and it comes out to 17 inches along this way. Um, I know that our cardstock is only 12 by 12, but I don't know whether we need to be able to measure to 17 inches, but it goes to 17 inches. Our old one went to 14 and a half. So we've got an extra two and a half inches on the end there. Um, and it slides back nicely. I know a lot of people were saying that they're having trouble with um, trying to get it to slide back in. It's got a little slot that slides into there. So as long as you're not trying to pull at it, trying to open it up, if you pull at that slot, um, you'll find it will come out. Now, um, one of the main things, and this was one of the things when I was on the incentive trip, we got to play with this trimmer. And um, I'm going to zoom in because I want you to see this. I'll bring it down a little bit further and I'll zoom it in a little bit more. Okay. So you can see that pretty well. So what actually happened, we've got centimeters and we've got inches along the top. Now in our old trimmer, we used to have an issue between our six and a half inches and our seven inches, we used to have an issue. Um, the measurements didn't exist, but can you see there's little score lines in this dark gray area here? So it actually has measurements right up to the edge of there. The only measurement that we're missing is that tiny, tiny little bit in there, okay? So um, it is really, really, um, that is massive because I know that when you were measuring anything from six and a quarter to um, six and three quarters, you more or less had to judge and, and, and guess that measurement in the middle. So now we actually don't have to do that. So I'll zoom back out again now so you can see a bit more in the picture. Oh, I'm going to zoom back in. There's one thing here that is really, really, this is what I loved. When you flip this back, can you see these grooves along here? So when you had a piece of cardstock and you wanted to cut, um, I'm going to try, I'll do it with this. This is a scrap piece of cardstock. So I'm just going to cut that first of all. Did you see how smooth that cut? Okay, so say we're wanting to get like a sliver, like maybe a quarter of an inch strip. Can you see how that butts up against here? Now because that butts up against there, there's no more of the cardstock wanting to go like this when you're trying to cut that small sliver. Because you can butt it up against there, it will actually hold it in place. And it would have helped if I actually had a bit bigger piece of cardstock. But there you go. And now I have a nice sliver of thin cardstock. So that was one of the big bonuses that I seen when I was um, on the incentive trip. I was like, wow, that is absolutely awesome. Because I used to get out my small little paper trimmers to be able to do that. Um, because I could never ever get it to, um, just looking at what's happening there with my phone. It's a bit, oh, a bit crooked. I'll try and straighten up a bit there. Um, so, um, that was a major plus to me. Now this actually sort of clicks down in, in place. I'm, I'm thinking it's a little bit magnetized. So we don't have the clip up here anymore that, um, holds that shut. And if you see, when you tip it over, it doesn't, it doesn't come undone. So no more when we pick up our trimmer and we tip it over by accident, no more of it flipping out and that track falling out. So that's absolutely um, super, super awesome that my camera is so crooked here. That is super, super awesome that we don't have that issue happening anymore. Okay. All right. The other thing is there's measurements halfway down here. So um, now when we're measuring our cardstock, we can see when you're popping it in there, you can see all the way down here, 
that everything's in line, everything's going really well. So that's another bonus, having the measurements here. Plus there's measurements down the bottom here as well. So, um, so all in all, um, I, yeah, I believe that it's going to be a much better trimmer than what we've had. Our blades for the other thing, our blades are, we've got the cutting blade, we've got the scoring blade. Um, and our blades, if you notice, our old blade, I'm going to bring that in. Now, the reason why we ended up with a new paper trimmer is our old blade had an issue. Now, if you look at the old blade, the old blade hangs from here and flips over. Now, it had a tendency of getting screw with, like maybe getting a bit out of kilter. Because this one has tracks on both sides, it's going to stop that from actually like twisting and, um, and actually getting out of kilter. So they're more of a squarer look, they're more of an even look. And I know with myself, every now and then I'd sort of, it would get caught in the cardstock and it would, and it would fling it around at a bit of an angle and then it would get out of whack and then trying to cut was really, really hard. So um, I think that they've definitely um, mastered that issue. And this piece here is way more solid than I think what this piece um, in this one. So I think it's definitely going to be a much more practical trimmer. And I think we're gonna get a lot more use out of it. Plus it's way lighter to carry. Like, hey Rose, how are you going? Um, no worries, go to bed, lovey. Have a good, good night's sleep and I'll chat with you tomorrow. Um, oh, you got, Arlene said that she just got her new trimmer today. So I was super excited. I, I was holding off. I know I normally go live on a Tuesday, but I was holding off because I wanted to show you all these products and I wanted to play with the new, um, the new suite. So that's why I decided to um, hold off until today. So the other thing is there's a tiny little groove down here for us to be able to remove the blades and things very, very easily. You just stick it back into that little groove and in they go. So really, really easy to get it out. You more or less just have to hold on to it and it just comes out in your hands. They've also, with the replacement blades, instead of getting two in a pack, you get four in a pack. Yes, of course, it's double the price. Um, our replacement blades used to be $10, I think, for a pack of two. These are $21 for a pack of four. But um, I think it's great. You know, like, no, no more do we have to have, um, we get a pack of blades and then, like, a couple of weeks later or three, three or four weeks later, we decide that we need another pack. So we've got four in a pack. So you will be, um, you will be happy with your blades for lots and lots of um, weeks of use. Now, I must admit, on the trip, now, I never seen them change the blade on the trip. And we played with that trimmer every day on the cruise ship and everyone played with it. There was never a time that you went down to the Stampin' Up! room that there wasn't somebody playing on this trimmer. And I can tell you that the blade was just as sharp the first day as what it was the last day. So um, I feel like we're going to have um, um, a much better time with it. There is no mat. Are you talking about the um, the bit that we have in here no there's just a groove so there's no there's no strip that we pull out none at all so there's just a groove and i assume that we will still have to keep that nice and clean and tidy but yes none of that mat falling out like the the um rubber strip falling out so i think it's going to be super super awesome so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make um some cards using the new um, suite. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm winging this, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I bought out, so with the colors in the designer series paper, I was looking at this gorgeous designer series paper. So this one here, and I was like, hmm, what do I think the colors that would go with that? So the three colors that I actually pulled out was one was our Merry Merlot, because I thought Merry Merlot looked gorgeous with these coloured flowers. The other one was our Mossy Meadow, because I thought it blended really well with the leaves. And the other one I thought was very vanilla. I just thought very vanilla might be nice to go with um, the gorgeous gold roses. So um, I'm just going to wing it. 
as I said, I'm going to wing it. I'm going to try and make something here and um, see how we go. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my new paper trimmer. So I'm actually going to um, cut my normal size that I cut, which is five and three quarter inches. So I'm just going to do that and cut that. Look how perfectly that cut. I'm going to pull out my little arm here because I turn it around and I'm going to cut it at eight. I may, I may actually cut two bases because I'm not actually quite sure whether I'm going to do two in this colored card base or not. But so five and three quarter inches there. So these are my measurements. This is how I do my cards. Everyone is different. I don't cut my cardstock exactly in half because then I would have to be doing layers that were five and three eighths and three and seven eighths and that does my head in. So I do it like this so that when I have a card base, it's cut eight inches this way. It's cut five and three quarter inches this way. So I'm gonna fold it. I'm gonna end up with a card front four inches by five and three quarter inches. And then if I go down with my layers and I and I step it down a quarter of an inch, it's really not that hard. I also think um, I'm going to do a mossy meadow layer as well. So I'm going to do that. So the mossy meadow layer for the front, I'm going to cut at five and a half inches. It's so funny when you have to get you get used to um, one type of paper trimmer and now I'm like, oh, this is different to use. Okay, so five and a half inches by three and three quarter inches. So that's actually going to be a layer that I'm going to have. And then I think with my very vanilla, um, I might do that one at... Uh, five and a quarter inches, I think. Five and a quarter inches by three and a half inches. Three and a half. Hey, Mandy, how you going? I'm playing with these gorgeous new products and my new trimmer. How super awesome is that? Okay, so I've got... A few layers here so I think that's super super cute okay so that and on my Merry Merlot so I think that's gonna look quite nice okay so I think I'm gonna use just a strip of this gorgeous um, designer series paper so I'm just gonna cut bring back my new beaut new trimmer and I think I'm going to cut Maybe just a two inch strip. Like that. Now, two inch by, I'm thinking five and a half inches. That'll be the same as my mossy meadow layer. So maybe just like this. Oh, that's looking nice. Okay, all right. So I'll pop that back there. I'll pop that over there. Oh, your new trimmer was waiting for you, Mandy. That would be exciting. Um, I was excited yesterday when I seen mine. So, okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to do a really, really quick, easy card. I'm going to use the other part that I can get that gorgeous rose. So I'm going to cut out one of them. Maybe this one down here so that I don't waste a lot of my paper. So I'm just going to cut that out because I'm then going to put it on my Big Shot with the framelit and cut it out. I know everyone's like probably thinking, oh my God, I can't believe you're cutting into that paper. But do you know what? It's what we have it here for. We need to cut into it and use it. So I'm going to bring in my big shot and I apologize if this makes the table wobble. Okay, so just like that. I'm going to grab the framelit that matches that 
and pop my designer series paper on there. I'm gonna grab my framelit that is going to match that and hopefully I get this right. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Okay. And we're gonna cut that one out. The new paper is gorgeous. Beautiful. Okay. Look at that. Stunning. Stunning. If I do say so myself. Okay. Pop that away. Okay. Let's see what I have here. Okay, I'm going to fold my base so I can see where I'm at. So I'm going to fold my base in half and use my bone folder to crease it nicely. Okay, I'm going to start looking at what that's going to look like. Lay it up like so. That is going to look gorgeous like that. Okay. I'm actually going to do... Okay, so I'm going to stick those layers together. Sorry, my thought process is really... <laughs> it's amazing you probably didn't just hear my brain ticking over. Okay, so I'm going to layer those up together. So this is going to have hardly any stamping, but I can tell you, it's going to look really, really pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to glue that strip onto there. Well, I could have even done the green side. I could have done that, Look at that and that as well, but anyway. We're going to do this. It's probably going to clash a little bit, but it's still going to look pretty. Like so. I'm then going to take this gorgeous ribbon and I'm going to put a strip down, I think just down there, and then pop that on. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Julianne. How are you going? Are you at work, Julianne, and catching me when you're supposed to be working? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pop some double-sided tape on the back here and um, pop my ribbon into that. Oh, my pokey tool's still in my other room. I have to use this horrible old pokey tool, but anyway, it will do the job. Okay, that. So I'm just going to pop this gorgeous gold ribbon, I think just about there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And down through there and trim it. Okay, I'm then going to pop that up on dimensionals and put it onto my card base. Yes, I love that, um, the red diamond, yes. Glenda's saying that the red and gold diamond shaped DSP would be good too. I actually wasn't going to cut that flower out. I wasn't going to do that. And then I changed my mind. I was like, oh, no, I want to do a really quick, easy card cutting the flower out. So for somebody that has just started crafting, this is so easy. Um, the designer series paper is really doing the job for us. So there's not a great deal that we have to do. There's not any stamping that we have to do. I'm going to stamp a sentiment, but that's it. Um, but you can see how gorgeous you can get a quick card and very little work to do. I actually did a video on the weekend on my YouTube channel. If you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, um, after I'm finished here, jump on over to just do a search on YouTube, Stamping with Donna G, and you'll find my channel. 
Um, but I did a card and I had that many comments saying that card looks so difficult and yet when I seen you do it, there was not that much work to do and it looks gorgeous. And sometimes I think we overthink things. Sometimes I think that um, we, um, we think, oh no, I can't do that because that's just way too hard, where it's actually not that hard at all. So I'm going to do that. I want to pop that there. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of that. So as I said, this suite is available right now to us as demonstrators. That's one of the perks of being part of Stamping Up. Not only do you get 20% discount, you get all these special offers that you can um, purchase products earlier than uh, general customers can. And you also enjoy a wonderful discount of 20% off. So um, I'm telling you that when you see this in action, you are gonna want this suite, I can tell you. It is gorgeous. If you love that everything is rosy, you're going to love this suite too. And that, just saying that too, if you absolutely love the everything is rosy and you thought it was good value, it's now in our clearance rack with 15% off, the whole bundle with 15% off. So if you missed out on the everything is rosy bundle and you were really regretting that you hadn't purchased it, it's now available in our clearance rack. So if you wanna jump on over to my online store and check out the clearance rack and grab your Everything is Rosy product medley suite for 15% off, I would do it because it will only be there for not long. Okay, so I think I want it to go that way. Do I want it that way or that way? Actually, no, I think I like it that way. Okay, so that way, like that. Deborah's saying, I'm supposed to be packing my bag for New Zealand and my mum's 80th birthday, but need a break. Lovely to watch you make cards. Thank you, Deborah. I'm glad I've taken you away from... Well, I'm not glad I'm taking you away from packing because you really need to get your packing done. But I'm glad that um, I'm a lovely distraction. <laughs> um, Kathy's saying that she thinks overthinking is her big biggest fault. Yes. So you just got to not complicate things too hard. To, like, don't make things harder than what they actually have to be. So, I'm going to say Merry Christmas down the bottom of this one. So, I'm going to grab that stamp out that says Merry Christmas and mount it onto a block. And I'm thinking because I used um, Merry Merlot, I'm thinking I will stick with the Merry Merlot and actually um, stamp it onto some... Clean cardstock. Do I have a piece of clean? No. But I will soon get a piece of clean cardstock with my trimmer. Just gonna cut a strip off there. Okay, like so. Okay, so I'm gonna grab. Where is my Merry Merlot? Is it here? I've been using it. Mary Merlot. Oh, it's in here. Sorry if I bumped the camera. No, I didn't. Okay, so now, because this is a new stamp, I'm going to stamp off because it's a new photopolymer stamp. And this is what I do with my new photopolymer stamps. Sometimes I feel like they get a little bit of a coating on them. So I've just got a scrap piece of paper here. And I'm just going to stamp off to make sure there's nothing on my stamp. So I'm just going to smoosh it around like that and then stamp it and I get a lovely crisp image. So it's just something that I do with new stamps um, just to make sure that they're going to stamp really, really nicely and really crisp for me when I go to stamp. Okay, so I'm just going to, with that, stamp down my Merry Christmas in Merry Merlot. Look at that. That has stamped. Look at the crispness of that stamp. Did that not just stamp absolutely beautifully? Beautiful. Okay, so we have some framelits in here. So we're going to... I'm probably going to have to go this framelit here. Correct, because that's the one that's going to be big enough that will fit it. And I'm thinking I may do something with these little pieces because 
I was saying that I liked that effect, so I'm going to have a bit of a play with them. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the big shot, and I'm going to grab some scrap pieces of Mary Mary Wire. Do I have a scrap? Yep. I have a scrap small enough to do it with, yes. So I've got a scrap piece of Merry Merlot and I've got my cream. I'm going to get rid of that ink and I'll zoom back out so you're not looking so close at what I'm doing. I'm getting myself in a mess here. I've got things on my desk everywhere and I'm going to end up getting myself in a right mess. But that's what crafting's all about as long as we clean it up when we're finished. Isn't that right? Okay, so let's take that off. Put that through. Okay, so I'm actually going to pop that on and put my framelit on there. And I'm using my um, magnetic platform so that my little framelits don't move around anywhere. So I'm just going to those two little bits. I think I'm going to put them along that way. Just so. You've always got more pressure on the outside of your um, outside of your big shot. So anything that's um, and now my magnets are wanting to jump around. Anything that's um, ah okay, there's going to be fine. Stop playing around with it. Okay, so I'm going to run that through the big shot. So pardon me if it wobbles. Can everyone say hello to Anne for me, please? Someone type in the comments, Anne. Say hello, Anne. Anne's deaf, so Anne needs somebody to translate. So if Anne asks any questions, if I can just get people to help her. Name of the die cut. Okay, so the name of the framelits are called... The roses die. So can you type in the roses dies? I'm just going to go like this. Um, can you see the roses dies? Okay. Product number is down here. Okay. So that was for Anne. Okay. So we've got that one cut out. Um, and we've got these little ones which will be super, super cute. I'm going to get my pokey tool so I can get those off. These look like they're really, really delicate. So um, just be careful when you're removing them from the die. Thank you, everyone, for saying hello to Anne for me. Okay, so I'm just going to, with my pokey tool, poke out those tiny little bits. There's some really cute scrolly pieces in this that you could probably use for other projects if you wanted to. Um, especially if you've done them in, say, gold foil. Just be careful when you're trying to unhook those pieces that you don't tear it. I've got a piece in there hooked the wrong way that I don't need it to be hooked that way. So another couple of pieces there need to come out. Thank you, Vicky. Okay, and this one. Okay, so we have those two little gorgeous pieces there. I'll let you zoom in on them so you can see how super, super cute they are. Look at that. Absolutely, yeah, she's got the name. Thank you, Vicky. Um, so I'm thinking that I might want to pop them on here like this. So if we bring in my card, I'm thinking I want to, yeah, that looks really pretty. All right, so I'm just going to grab, and it's great that we've got two of them. So um, at least with the two of them, you don't have to run that through the die cutting machine too too often. So I'm just going to grab a little tiny bit. Um, hey Carol, how are you going? Thanks for joining. 
just going to grab a little tiny bit of our Tombow and I'm just going to pop a little bit just on the edges of that. And I just want it on that bottom edge because that's the bit that's really just going to stick onto my sentiment label. So just like so. Can probably come out a little bit. So just like that. That's super pretty. And do the other one. Okay. Now the fun part's going to be getting them even. Okay. So put it down below that bit. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself here. How's that look? Even, straight, not too bad. I think that bit needs to go around that way a bit. I think that's lo not looking too bad. Perfect. <laughs> I was thinking, am I gonna get them even? Most probably not, but anyway, that's totally okay. You know what? We're not perfect, are we? I'll just go back out again. Okay, so I'm just going to pop. Yeah, when I seen when I seen those little gorgeous little scrolly pieces on the on the end of one of those labels, doesn't that it was actually a tag that was made. It was made like this and it had tassel and sort of hung and it was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So it gave me the idea that, oh, I could do a sentiment and I could pop them on there, on the edges. Are you talking to me about me chattering away? <laughs> uh, I'm like chatting away to myself thinking, yep, I've got this. I know what I'm up to. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to do, um, I shouldn't have had that one on there. I'm going to take that one off if I can. Can I? Yes. Okay, because I want to straddle it over that gorgeous rose. I know that I'm covering up a bit of the rose, but I want to pop a bow down here. So I've got to have it that it straddles over that. So I've got that there. And you know me, I've got to have a bow. A super cute little bow. It's because, Deborah, you're getting me in my thought process. Am I going to do that? Oh, maybe I won't do that. Maybe I should do this. You know, that is the way I roll. When I'm trying to work out what I'm doing, I'm just like, mm, maybe I could put that there. Maybe not. So I'm sure we all end up a little bit like that at times. Okay. I'm going to do a super cute little bow. Yeah, that looks good. <clears throat> you do it all the time. Yeah. I think that's why my cat always comes in and hangs with me when I craft because I'm sure he, I'm sure he just likes the chatter with me. Like, because even when I'm in my stamp room by myself, I still talk to myself. So, yes, it would go with the rose glimmer paper. Correct. Um. I, I think you could definitely use the rose glimmer paper with it. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of double-sided tape here just to pop my bow into. And the reason I'm using the double-sided tape is I'm lazy. My glue dots are actually in by my lounge chair in my lounge room where I've been making all my customer cards and my team appreciation cards. So it's actually not out here. So isn't that? Now, it just needs one more bit of bling. I'm positive it needs one more bit of bling. Are we, are we positive that it definitely needs some of these? <laughs> you swear at yourself, Vicky. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, you girls make me laugh. Okay. So, I think I'm just going to use one of those. I so need my pokey tool too. I'm not used to this one either. 
My take your pick tool is in there as well. That'll teach me for crafting where I'm not supposed to be crafting instead of being in my craft room. Oh. Okay, I think I'm going to pop one there. These are cute. I like these gorgeous. Okay, what do you think, people? I know, it's pretty avid, isn't it? Yet, all the stamping I did was the sentiment, and that was it. So... Honestly, um, very, very quick, easy card. And the designer series paper did the work for me. Okay, so do you want one more card? Should we make a second card? Type in the comments and let me know if you want me to make a second card. Will we do something else? We need to do something with stamping, don't we? We can't, we can't just do that. That's a bit slack, isn't it? Um, type in the comment and let me know if you're happy to hang around for another card. Oh dear, popping my beautiful, these these are stunning, absolutely stunning. Thanks Marcy, thanks, thanks Josie, thanks Margaret. Okay, another card, Kathy saying second one please, yes thank you. Another card, we need to do a bit of stamping I feel. Do you feel like we need to do a bit of stamping? I feel like we needed a bit of stamping. Okay, all right. So, let's try, I'm going to do, um, oops, I got my old trimmer. I don't want the old trimmer, where's the new trimmer? Where did I put it? Oh, it's under my cardstock here. We don't want to use the old trimmer, we need to use the new one. Josie's saying yes please, Glenda's saying yes please, <laughs> and Deborah's saying of course a second card. Of course you want to do a second card, Donna, don't you? Okay, so what's that one? That one is, um, okay, five and a quarter. What have I got that there? Okay, so five and a quarter. I'll do that piece five and a quarter. That is already five and a quarter by three and a half. Okay. I'm going to just do that. Now, um, I'm going to stamp in our and of course it's up behind me here i hope i don't bump the camera i apologize if i do no i didn't i'm going to stamp in the basic gray and i'm going to use the big stamp here okay look at that new new stamp brand brand new yummo okay so we've got to put the sticker on so we can see where we're stamping. Why have I got two stickers? Why do I have two stickers? I have two stickers. Well, that's lucky, I guess. <laughs> I think they, um, they might have made a bit of a mistake there. Now I've got to make sure I get this right. I'm going to stand up so I get it right. So there, you've now seen how I put my stickers on. Okay, what block do we think we're going to need? This size, because it's a little bit, just fits on that size. Okay, so that size is size E. Okay, get rid of that rubbish. Okay, sorry to hear that you can't sleep, but you do get to hang out with us. Who can't sleep? Oh, Vicky, um, I hope I don't put you to sleep. That would be sad. That would be sad to say, oh, yep, yeah, I was watching you, but oh, my God, you put me to sleep. You were so boring. You put me to sleep. Just kidding. <laughs> the second stamp no the second stamp is not that like see oh no the second stamp's all in pieces thank you Karen yes I got my nails done this morning aren't they cute different girl this morning because my nail lady's having a baby so she's off having a baby no I think they've just made a mistake and they've actually given me two stamps um two stickers so 
Anyway, I'm going to ink this up and I'm actually going to do one stamp down because I actually always like to try the stamp out first before I... Oh, lovely, but okay. I've got to make sure I'm going to press down because part of that didn't stamp properly over there. Let's try this again on this bit of paper so we can see. I think maybe I should work out to get it pressed down properly. That's better. Gorgeous. Okay, but guess what? I'm not even going to stamp that much on there because... I want to do a little bit on the edges. I actually don't want to stamp it all the way over. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. So make sure that you give it time to... Um, <laughs> Make sure you give it time to actually like um, sink into your card there. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do another little edge bit over here. Um, I'm actually only going to do this tiny edge here. Like that. Okay, and then I think I'm going to do a similar thing over on this corner as well. I'm going to do, is that going to look different? No, I want that side. I want it to look a bit different up through that top. Okay, so make sure I stamp that down. I think that's looking pretty nice. Okay. I'm going to use some blends, people. So let's colour this flower in just with some blends. I'm not really... I, I don't feel like my mind is up to um, actually... That... Sorry, what colour is that? No, I want my cherry cobbler. Where's my cherry cobbler? What's that one? Dark real red, light real red. No, I want cherry cobbler. There's my cherry cobbler. Okay, so I want cherry cobbler and I also want, I think I'm just gonna do old olive. I like my old olive. And I think I wanna do maybe a bit of crumb cake. Is that crumb cake? What's that one? Light crumb cake dark crumb cake. Okay, that will do me. So, um, I'm just going to do a little bit of colouring. I'm going to pop that there so I don't lose that. I'll pop my cardstock up there so I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, so, uh, are we close enough? Do you feel like I'm close enough in there that you can see my colouring? I don't know whether I want you to see my colouring that close. I'm going to take that away. But anyway, so I'm going to, with my light cherry cobbler, I'm going to colour in my flower. Now, bear with me. I'm a, I'm a bit of a shocker when it comes to colouring. I tend to go quiet. Did you notice that? I tend to go a little bit quiet when I concentrate on colouring. So I'm using the brush end because over all of this large part of the flower, I'm more or less just um, covering all that flower. So I'm using the gorgeous big brush end. And as you can see, I'm not actually going right out to the lines. Like um, the one main thing that I say to people, don't go too close to your lines because it's actually going to move on the cardstock, your ink. So if you go too close, you have the, the chance of it bleeding out through your, um, your image and you don't want that to happen. Okay, so we have 
that. I probably should have something under me so I don't get any cherry cobbler on my desk, but anyway. Okay, so we've got cherry cobbler there. As long as I don't stick my tongue out. I may stick my tongue out, you never know. <laughs> Keep an eye on me. Keep an eye on that little picture up there and make sure I don't stick my tongue out. I feel like I need to take my glasses off so I can see things. And believe me, the glasses are actually for up cl close work as well, but I feel like I can see better when I take them off. I only said to Daryl the other day, I think I need to go and get my eyes tested so I can actually see properly. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm as blind as a bat. I was trying to place an order this morning and I'm sitting there and do you find that um, when you get up of a morning, your eyesight's worse than what it is through the day, that your eyesight tends to get a little bit better as the day goes on. Because when I got up this morning and I was trying to place my order, for the life of me, I couldn't read those order numbers in the catalogue. I was like, oh my Lord, I can't read that. Okay, so I'm now going to colour in that main part of the flower. So just like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my dark cherry cobbler and I'm going to put some darker bits in there to create a bit of a variegated type of look. So I want it darker. This is going to be one of those roses that it's darker on the outside of the petals, not on the inside of the petals. I'm just doing opposite to what you would normally do. But you know how you get those lovely roses and they have that gorgeous darker trim on the outside of their petals which just looks stunning so I want this one to look similar to that so what I'm doing is I'm just going around those outside petals and putting a little bit of darker color there okay I'm just getting um, that bit of a variegated look to your rose So sorry, this will probably take me a bit to do this. I'm a bit slow when it comes to the colouring process. And then just with the, um, the light, go back in and just blend those pieces in. And you may look at it and go, Ugh, what a mess. But when it blends out, it's just gorgeous. Okay. Now, old olive. I'm going to do my leaves in the old olive. Please tell me that's old olive. Yes. It looked a little bit like granny apple green when I first started. And here I go again, Deborah, chattering away, talking to myself. And give colouring a go, people. Like if you haven't if you haven't tried our blends, just grab a couple of blends like maybe a green, a red, um, and maybe the crumb cake, and just have a bit of a play around with, um, with coloring. I can tell you, they make the job so much easier, and you don't have to do much. You have to wear your glasses all the time, Karen. You're blind as a bat. I'm, I'm positive I'm starting to get blind as a bat too. It's getting worse as I get older. And it was really funny, my father came the other day and he wanted to have a haircut. And for the life of me, I couldn't find where I'd put my glasses. And I said, oh, that's okay, I'll just cut your hair without my glasses. And he's like, oh, are you sure? Do you think it's safe to sit here in the chair if you haven't got your glasses on? I said, I'm not that bad. Like, I said, if anything, I can actually see better with my glasses off than what I can with them on, so. So 
So sorry, this card's taking a bit longer, isn't it? But sometimes I find it relaxing watching someone colour. So when I do anything, I just go right around the edges and then you can fill it in. So, And I probably could be using my brush end here instead of my tip end, but I feel like I'm more in control when I use the, the tip end rather than the brush end, but personal preference. Okay, so I've got my leaves done there. I've just found there's an edge of a bit of a flower over here. And there's another edge here, so I need to colour those. So just here, we have another flower. I'm not even going to worry about shading on that because it's way too little to even warrant it. And there's another little bit there. Okay, and I think my berries I'm going to do in the red. There. I definitely need to take my glasses off. I can't see with my glasses on. You prefer the brush end, Deborah? Yeah. Each to their own. I, um, I just feel like I'm more in control with that tip end. The brush end is great, like when you want to do tiny, tiny little pieces as well, like you can really get that fine tip on it. Okay, there, got some berries over here. Few berries there. Okay, I'm going to use the light crumb cake on these needly bits. I may end up using my soft suede on the pine cones. I'm thinking that crumb cake will probably be too light. And I'm actually gonna go into my rose and take a bit of that color out with my colour lifter. So like that. And I think I'm gonna use my soft suede. Is that soft suede? Dark soft suede. I'm gonna use that on my pine cones. Definitely needed the dark soft suede for the pine cones. One there. I just realized I've gone very, very quiet because I'm too busy coloring. Okay, um, I'm gonna use some of my dark old olive just for the leaves so we get a little bit of depth happening here. I'm 
go back over with my light. That just gives more depth to those leaves, which is much better. Now I'm just following where the pattern is already in the stamp. I'm just following where it's already got that pattern to get a bit of shading happening. Then you just go back over with your light and blend it in. So what you're doing is you're just blending in where that light and dark are meeting. And it just gives that more um, definition to your leaf. Okay, I'm going to go in with my colour lifter. And I'm just going to do some pieces in here. It's just going to lift up some of that colour just to add a bit more highlight into that flower. And you'll see that this will actually um, lift some of the colour out. Everyone's gone silent. No one's commenting either. Um, but it just will lift some of the colour out and give my rose a little bit more definition. See how that's starting to make that rose really pop out? <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave that the way it is. I'm thinking that's looking pretty cute. Okay. So now I'm going to do, I'm thinking a Mary Merlot layer. What did we do on the other one? Yeah, we did the, okay, so back with my gorgeous paper trimmer. Okay, so that one was, I'm sure it was um, three and a half. We did that one. Yep, three and a half. So I'm going to do hopefully three and three quarters. Yep, three and three quarters by five and a half. How lovely is that new trimmer? Okay. So, like so. That looks pretty good. Hey, Julie, how are you going? We're all engrossed in the colouring process, really. Did I keep you that mesmerised with the colouring process? <coughs> okay. I'm going to do... I'm going to use the new trimmer again. I'm going to do... A cream base, I think. Okay, so five and three quarters <coughs> by eight. And I'm going to score that at four because I'm using the thick cream here. So to score, I'm going to use my light grey and score. Oh, look at that. And fold it in half like that. Okay. So. Fold that. I make it look so nice and easy. Well, you know... Card making is easy if you have an idea in the first place. If you, and as I said, I'm I'm winging this this afternoon. I'm just I didn't really have an idea of what I was going to do, but hey, that's how the process goes. And uh, I thought I'd lost my glue. <laughs> you loved how I did the coloring. I love my blends. My blends have actually taken my crafting to a whole new level. Because once upon a time, I would never buy a flower stamp like that. Because I was like, who would want a flower stamp like that and have it all one colour? 
now we have the beauty of being able to color them however we want so um it is absolutely it's taking crafting to a whole new level okay so of course i'm going to use my new ribbon because i love my new ribbon i'm actually going to use the new ribbon across the middle of the card this time so i'm going to grab some double-sided tape So did any of you catch my live video that I did on YouTube on Saturday? I'm actually going to start doing a live Saturday YouTube as well as a live, well, has been Tuesdays, but it seems to be working out Wednesday is going to work a little bit better for me. I'm not real sure, but Tuesdays or Wednesdays I go live, whichever time I get the time to do it. Um, but I've decided to do a live video on YouTube. And someone actually told me the other day that my YouTube video was so much clearer um, than the Facebook video. So that actually made me happy as well. So I'm, um, I'm just experimenting. So if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, um, as I said, just do a search for Stamping with Donna G. And you'll find a video that will come up. And just subscribe to my YouTube channel because... It will be different crafting to what I've done in my live on a Tuesday. So I, I tend to um, not put the same content on the same. Um, okay, Karen. Yes, Karen, it was you that was saying it. You said that the picture seemed clearer. And Wednesday's better for you, Karen. <laughs> the more you see of the trimmer, the more it becomes a must. Yes, Sylvia, I'm telling you, it is a lovely trimmer. It is definitely a must. Like, I, because I'd already played with it, I was already convinced. So you didn't have to convince me about um, getting the trimmer. As soon as it was available, I was like, yep, I'm getting that. Um, it's not available to customers just yet. Like, we're, it's available to us as demonstrators. So once again, if you live in Australia and you can't wait to get your hands on the new trimmer... They haven't given us an, uh, an estimated date of when it's going to be available for customers. So they're allowing us um, to be able to purchase it at the moment. So once again, time to join. If you join, you can put the new trimmer in your starter kit. So, And you get to choose $235 worth of product for $169. It is such an awesome bargain. Um, and then have an ongoing discount of 20% discount. So to me, it's a no-brainer, but um, I know a lot of people are worried. A lot of people are a little bit scared of, um, of um, the commitment of joining Stampin' Up. There is nothing to be scared of, honestly. The commitment is you just buy things that you love and get it at a cheaper, cheaper price. Um, are you a New Zealand de demo, Sylvia? Yep. You've been overseas for a month, so are you not home? Can't you place the order anyway and get it delivered to your place so you can get the trimmer? It wouldn't matter where I was, I would place the order. I'd be like, it, it's okay, it can be waiting for me when I get home. You won't have that that wait to do when you're getting waiting to get home. Um, okay, so once again, what have we got in the stamp set that we can stamp as the sentiment? Wishing you... The seasons, the gifts of the season, peace and joy. Um, I'm going to do this one. May this Christmas fill your heart with warmth and love. That sounds quite nice. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Oh, if I can get it off, didn't want to come off. Okay, so that. Um, I'm going to bring in, where's my cream that I had before? And I need my scrap piece of paper because I need to stamp off. Oh, okay. So you're home now. So you can pop an order in now. It's available all this month. So I'm just going to stamp off to make sure that that's going to stamp really nice and crisp for me. So I've done that ink that up in my Merry Merlot and stamp it down. I'm just wondering whether the smaller frame that will fit this. 
I must say, these stamps are stamping beautifully, lovely and crisp. Okay, let's check out these framelits and see if the smaller one's going to fit. Is that smaller one going to fit? If I can get it off the sticky. Oh, there. Yes, that smaller one's going to fit. And then I'm thinking, oh, that could be quite nice. Okay, I have a plan. And I think I also have another plan. <laughs> uh, are you loving my thought process here? <laughs> You're loving the font. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to do something here. I have an idea. Something's come to me while I'm sitting here. Okay, so we need the big shot. We need some scrap paper, scrap cardstock. We need that. We need some of that. Okay, I have an idea. Let's get the big shot in view. Okay, so there. Okay, so we want to, oh, and I just lost that framelit on the ground, which is not what I wanted to happen, but anyway. Oops, wrong framelit, that one. Okay, where did that one go? On the ground. Okay, that one. Okay, so I want, oh, on the ground in a hairdressing salon, we get someone's foreign hair stuck in it. Okay, so I'm gonna move that over. See if I can get that on there. And get it straight, would be a good idea. Like that. I wanna put, oh, that bit's way too big. I need a smaller bit. Let's just cut that bit down. So I want that and that. This bit's too big too. I'll cut it down. Okay. Oh. It's got a message about my Christmas buffet. Someone wanting to come to my Christmas card buffet. If you're local, I'm holding a Christmas card buffet. I think I've got like maybe two spots left for the 29th of October um, you get a $45 goodie bag when you come the cost is 45 and you get a $45 goodie bag and um, you get to make about five Christmas cards it's on sorry about the table wobbling everywhere it's on um, Sunday the 29 uh, 27th I think it is 27th of October um, so if you're interested, you're local and you're interested and you'd like to come to a Christmas card buffet, you'll be very welcome. Um, payments and bookings have to be made by the 18th, which is like next week, um, so that I can order all of your products in. This is cute. This is cute, cute, cute. I'm having a lovely play here. Now you're hungry? Grabbing a midnight snack, Vicky. <laughs> Oh, you make me laugh. Okay, let's bring that card back in. So I'll pop that aside so I don't lose that. I'll pop all my scraps out of the way. Okay, that's another scrap. We'll pop all these little pieces out of this. This is gorgeous. A super, super cute little trellis. That's stunning. So I don't know, I'm gonna probably get this on the project and go, yeah, no, nah, don't like that. But I thought I'd give it a go anyway and see what I think. You never know. Just popping all those little pieces out. Now, if I actually had my pokey tool out here, I could put my little brush on the back of my pokey tool on one end and I could, um, have those little pieces out in no time. Okay. I'm thinking I want to do that and then pop the sentiment over it like that. Oh, that's looking pretty. What do you think? 
Although I feel like I still need a bow. You know me and my bows. Could probably put a bow there. Okay. All right, let's get this show on the road. I'll pop some dimensionals on the back of my sentiment there. Um, the goodie bags have um, product in them, Pam. So um, in the goodie bags, there will be product in them that they will be using on their cards in the Christmas card buffet. So, um, so there'll be little surprises in there that they'll be able to use while they're crafting. So, um, so yeah, it will be fun. And people will get to know me that when you come to the class, your money wholly and solely pays for product. You get every cent in product. And Karen knows, because Karen came to my retreat. Karen's from Karindi Beach, and she travelled up and spent the weekend up here and came to my retreat a couple of weekends ago. And I can tell you, you will be overwhelmed by what you get in your goodie bags and how much product you go home with. So, as well as the cards you make. So um, I give the cards out of the kindness of my heart and um, you've been watching my Facebook videos of mine and think they're pretty good. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> Thank you. What a compliment. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that just there. Karen's saying you definitely do. Yeah, so Karen came to um, my retreat and had a lovely time. Um, and you get to come in and, and craft with me and have fun with me. It's awesome. Okay, I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals as well. Do you know what? I have to say this is my first time playing with this suite, but oh, wow. Wow. It is stunning. They got me when it was roses, like honestly, as soon as I seen the roses, I was like, ooh, that looks pretty, but um, playing with it in real life, yeah, stunning. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that over to there. That will still allow me room for a ribbon, which a bow, which will be really, really pretty. So tight, cute little bow. I'm a bit worried with my pale pink nails and this um, Merry Merlot ink. I'm like, oh, don't get any Merry Merlot ink on your pink nails. They're brand new. I feel like I've got some on my thumb, but anyway. That looks quite pretty. Okay, so there we have a cute little bow. This ribbon's really, really super pretty. I don't know whether you can see it in the video, but it's got a real shimmer to it. Um, it's a lot like our black shimmer satin ribbon that we had. Like it's got that real shimmer to it. It's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to pop a bit of double-sided tape there. Oh, how did you do with this sticky note game? Um, we did the sticky note game, but we also did, I don't know whether you've seen the video on the second retreat, we did um, Stamping With Your Eyes Shut, which was, uh, and Karen won that one. Karen won the Stamping With Your Eyes Shut. Did you win the, who won the sticky note one? I can't remember. Was it you, Karen, that won that one as well? I can't remember. The sentiment, Jenny says, may this Christmas, I'll, I'll zoom in. Okay, so may this Christmas fill your heart with warmth and love. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay. Um, I'll just take that double-sided tape off there and stick my bow on. Like that. And, of course, we need a bit of bling. Where did I put the bling? Oh, where did I... There. I nearly lost the bling. We can't lose the bling, can we? Yeah, it's gorgeous sentiments. Absolutely lovely. I can imagine using this 
um, sweet though for um, birthdays and things. Gorgeous. Um, and I know it's sad to say, sympathy cards. I think it will be absolutely stunning for sympathy cards. Um, yeah, so mixing it with lots of other sentiments from other other um oh i lost the gold off there okay that's not real good wow i just learned something you're gonna look at that and you're gonna go that's just a silver dot yeah i know and then that's got to go on there oh it's not gonna work okay we'll take that off the backing came off it well there you go Let's try again. Let's get right under this and try again. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go like this and see if I can pull it off that way. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so one there. I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm so missing my pokey tool. I need my pokey tool to do this. And oh, one just there. Lucky she left my nails longer today. And I think I'm just going to pop some little ones around because I love these dots. I think they're gorgeous. Oh, one there. One of these smaller ones. Just there. And another little tiny one. Oh, a little one. Did I get it? Where did it go? Where did it go? Disappeared. Ah, there it is. <laughs> On the edge. There it is. Done. Okay. So what do you think, ladies? What are you thinking about this suite? Have I totally sold you on this gorgeous suite? Look at those two stunning cards. This one, hardly any stamping whatsoever. This one, a beautiful... Um, Beautiful selection of blends there to give you another look. Um, I can tell you when you emboss this rose and do watercoloring, it is stunning. So it comes out a lot more like the designer series paper. Um, your nails are Rococo rose, Jenny, really. Um, anyway, so thank you very much for spending the afternoon crafting with me now as I said if you simply cannot wait for this suite you can put it in your starter kit and get an awesome deal of $235 worth of product for $169 so um, I would super super be excited if you wanted to join my Wild Heart Crafters team we're an awesome bunch of people um, and I just want to show you, there's a picture there of that gorgeous bracelet. It is really, really, that picture I don't think actually does the bracelet justice. It is really, really pretty in real life. Um, so there's lots and lots of things in the suite. As you can see, the stamp set, the framelets, the bracelet, the gorgeous glitter dots, the lovely um, gold ribbon and the designer series paper. So um, you can purchase all as one bundle or you can purchase the items individually. So if there's something in there like maybe you didn't want to get the bracelet, you can leave the bracelet off and purchase all the other products um, in the suite. But it is simply a stunning suite. So I think it's going to be very popular. I think it's going to um, sell out very quickly on the 1st of November. So if you're, if you're happy to wait until the 1st of November, my idea would be to jump in at the beginning of November and order. Um, yes, the bracelet is pretty, isn't it, Mandy? It's gorgeous. We actually got a silver bracelet like that um, on our Greek Isles trip. And it had um, Santorini, like a, a charm that had Santorini, the buildings of Santorini, the dome churches and things. Um, and it also had the little Stampin' Up charm as well. So um, I can show you the charms. Hang on and I'll show you. We'll get that bracelet again. I'll give you a close-up look. We'll go back down to my desk. Oops, that. And, ah, what am I doing? That and that. Okay, let's go back down here. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see. I'll give you a bit closer look up at that bracelet because it is gorgeous. Okay. So can you see the charms there? 
It's got um, a beautiful rose. Oops, a beautiful rose. I'm going to get the bracelet out. Okay. You can probably see it better in my hands. I'm trying to get the beautiful rose and a stamping up charm as well. So they're gorgeous and they slide um, they slide in like and out to get the bracelet on. You slide you slide this along and it makes it bigger and then you pop your hand in and then you slide it back along. Um, but they are simply stunning. Look at those. Gorgeous. And just plain on the other side. So, but um, I'll hold it right up. A rose and the Stampin' Up. Ah, oh, the Stampin' Up. So, um, absolutely stunning bracelet. I think it would be a gorgeous bracelet for someone as a present. Um, and yeah, I think they would absolutely love it. Uh, it's not gold, it's not proper gold, so they have said that it's a gold um, metallic material. So, um, oh, Glenda, you ordered this. Did you order the whole suite, Glenda? I, I bet you did. Like, honestly, it's gorgeous. The suite is stunning. Um, you will not be disappointed, I can tell you. You definitely won't be disappointed to order the whole suite. The designer series alone is just stunning. There, I can see so many cards being made with that designer series paper. And and I know when you get it, you're going to look at the paper and you're going to go, oh my Lord, I can't, I can't trim that paper. I can't cut that paper. It's just so gorgeous. Cut it, ladies. Order another pack. It doesn't matter. As Kylie says, love it. Chop it. Get into it. Chop it. And we allow you to buy another pack. You know, like, if you love it, buy another pack. If you love it, buy three packs. You know, like, um, it is stunning. So thank you, everyone, for um, watching and hanging around with me this afternoon. Please feel free to share the video. If you're watching this back on YouTube, please feel free. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. Um, hit the bell notification to turn on notifications. If this is the first time you've watched me on Facebook, please feel free to like my business page and turn on notifications so you get notified every time I go live. Now remember, I will be doing a live video on Saturday morning over on YouTube. So please feel free to join me over on YouTube. Um, and it will be the same deal. If you don't catch me live on YouTube, the recording will still get posted so you won't get to miss out on it. Um, but it will be different. It will always be different live crafting. It will be totally different. I won't repeat myself. So you now get two chances of seeing me live instead of just one. So I'm just going to trial it out and see how I go for a, maybe a month or two months and see what happens. So um, I'd love you to all join me over on YouTube on Saturday mornings as well. So everyone have a lovely afternoon. Hope you enjoyed it and put some crafting into your life somewhere. Get into those craft rooms. I hope I've inspired you to get in and, and do a bit more crafting. So bye for now, everyone.